your education loan is going to kill you and your future so make sure to watch this until the end of the video where to decide whether or not you need to take up an education loan an education loan is one of the riskiest moves ever because it is one of those things which will constrain you for the rest of your next 10 to 15 years gajab bejati hai are kehna kya chahte ho or if you're being the wrong decisions right now and if you make the wrong decisions and if you're not able to pay back your loan it is going to end up in grave danger for you and your parents i know many of my friends they are in a very very tough position right now there was a recession which was which happened just still going on and people they have lost their jobs people are not getting paid well and especially now there's a huge student loan on the back of their head and they are extremely extremely confused what do i do next so make sure to watch this video till the very end to understand the flaws of the education loans and how you can avoid these kind of loans what are the best decisions for yourself we'll talk about everything today and i'll try to make sure that everything is crystal clear let's get, let's get started so hey guys i'm hari haran and i'm a final year student at pilani and i'm i just finished my final year right now I, my exams are over and i'm officially a graduate and yet convocation is yet to happen and i studied in bits which is one of the expensive colleges in india and it's one of the really really cool colleges i had a great experience there and i graduated with a pretty decent package so and i didn't even take up an education loan my parents paid for it partially or completely and during my final semester i had a six month internship and i was able to pay back almost 50 to 60% of my last year fees which means almost the whole last tuition fees i paid off so i'm going to talk about the education loan scenario from a private college perspective whether you are an mba student or whether you are planning on doing your bachelor's whatever may be this is going to be a very very important video so generally the education loan interests are slightly higher especially in the current scenario i just talked to the sbi branch in bits they said that they offer loans at an 8.2 percentage interest 8.2 percentage can you believe that that's an incredibly high percentage guys i know a friend of mine he completed his chemical engineering from bits plan and then he uh, he got merit cum needs scholarship as well he, for almost two semesters he got through the merit cum needs scholarship even then even then he had to pay around 20 lakhs for his four years and then the way this education loan works is that your education loan during your first four years throughout your undergrad the interest is simple interest which means this interest is not compounded but once you finish grad once you graduate basically after your four years are over you your interest will get compounded year after year which means you will be paying compound interest for the simple in, for the principal plus the simple interest for those four years and after each year the interest gets compounded year after year for example a f- the friend of mine that i was talking about he completed his chemical engineering from bitsco he got placed i mean he got placed at a pretty decent company in chemical in core chemical engineering and he has a package of around 8 lakhs or 8.5 lakhs and guess what he has to pay an emi of close to 18000 or 20000 for the next 15 years per month can you imagine that for a loan of close to 13 lakhs he is being paid 30 lakhs which means the way the income interest gets compounded over these 15 years you just have to do the math it is mind boggling can you imagine having just constrained for the next 10 to 15 years just paying off your education loan and every time you think about it it just your mind just starts swirling around because you don't really have the flexibility to try something new because you have education loan and especially if you're staying in an expensive city like bangalore or bombay you have to take care of your living expenses as well which is expensive in general and i'm going to bring you to bangalore very soon and i can tell you for sure that bangalore is very expensive and then mind you he started his journey in 2019 and he had to pay an emi of around 18000 so let's say you're starting your undergrad or your mba in 2023 and let's say your education loan you've taken it for around 25 to 30 lakhs you'll be paying an, an emi of close 30000 rupees so 25 to 30000 rupees for the next 15 years and that's a really really huge amount so how do you assess whether you take an education loan or not because
It's not about how much money you're spending, it's about how much return of investment that you get. Let's say you spend 10 lakhs and let's say you're getting 20 lakhs in return as compared to, let's say you're spending 20 lakhs and you're getting 80 lakhs in return. I think the second one is a better inter better investment because you're getting a higher rate of return. And that is what ultimately matters. If the rate of return is higher, it ultimately makes sense, right? So let's take really, really good colleges like Harvard or Stanford or MIT or any of these great colleges. These are private institutions, but at the same time, they are extremely expensive. But at the same time, a lot of people do aspire to get into these colleges. Why is that? First, of, first one is, it, it's got a huge brand name which will help you open doors for yourself in the industry or anywhere else. That's one of the reasons. The second one, it's got amazing alumni which will def which you can connect with and help you enhance your know-how in the industry. You can learn about more things. You can get ahead by knowing more people because your network is your net worth. And the last but the most important thing is you have excellent peers around. And because of these peers, I, whether it be huge, great people, or entrepreneurs or whoever may be, they found great peers and they net, they learned and grew around, grew by looking and learning from these peers that they had. And I think these are three very very important factors that you should take into consideration whether when like, when you're thinking about taking education. I know a friend of mine. He's going to do his masters in the US. He's going to pay around sixty to seventy lakhs. He's going to take a loan of around sixty to seventy lakhs. But I asked him, like, why do you even want to do a master's? I mean, you can just get a job and you can make big bucks through your job because he graduated from computer science and he was getting a job in American Express. But then he was like, it's fine, I can pay off my loan in around six months to a year because the average salary that a person, a software developer, gets in the US is around 300000 or sorry, $150,000 or $200,000. And if he does a teaching assistantship and if he has done some prior courses in his bachelor's, he can definitely become a research assistant or teaching assistant so that he can prepay his loan back. There are certain questions that you have to really, really ask yourself. Are you actually interested in what you're going to study? Because if you're not interested and you're taking an education loan and you're planning on dropping out or something like that with no plan, then it's a waste of money and a waste of time for you and for the people who believe in you. The second of all, is the college that you're entering, does it give you a good rate of return? Does it or does it not give you a much 2x return? Or Let's say you're spending X amount of money for four years. Let's say you're able to make that amount of money back in one year. That's a good investment. Let's say you're spending 20 lakhs for four years and you're getting 20, a package of 25 lakhs. That's a pretty good deal, right? I mean, because that obviously makes sense. And, and the third most important thing is, does it have a good startup culture? Does it have a good culture where people promote risk taking and people, they just encourage people to do better and better. And let's say I'm from BITS and I saw many of my friends who went on to start up and raise funding from great people. And then now there's the reputation for BITS having known to like this sort of startup culture and stuff. And using the bit style, all of them went to raise good, good chunks of money. And using the TAD and the alumni network, they went on to raise amazing amounts of money. And it's not just because of the TAD, because they did a lot of work in their startup as well. But I, saw, I personally saw Harish, who did a lot of work, especially in bits, helping the aspirants and creating a community around that. And they raised around 3 4 million in the seed in their seed round and i think maybe being a part of bits had a big part to play in that and and after talking to him i think he also said that okay i think knowing people from the bits alumni network it made a big difference for him as well and i think these are multiple things that you should consider and let's say you're spending some amount of money if it's giving you huge amounts of returns in the future I think this is definitely you should go for it and don't hesitate to take an education loan especially if you see huge tremendous opportunities for yourself and uh, make sure to talk to the alumni make sure to talk to as many people as possible 
I've opened a mentorship session in TopMate. You can definitely reach out to me if possible. There have been a lot of people reaching out to me recently through Instagram and through WhatsApp and all the other things. I am definitely open to taking questions. I've helped out a lot of people as well. Now let's speak from an engineering point of view and from specifically from a bits point of view. This uh, because I graduated from bits and the uh, for four years you have to pay around. 26 lakhs that's this that's the average tuition fee for the four years in bits and for a dual degree program it's close to 30 34 lakhs and speaking from my experience if you go get a good practice school opportunity which means if you're six month opportunity six month intern it's at a pretty decent place you'll be able to pay almost four three four lakhs there itself if you've done a good amount of saving and good amount of planning and where you want to spend your money and one of the best things that i know is that bits does offer pretty good placements i mean even during a recession there were companies which came there are people who were still unhappy with the placements which happened but at the same time there was a worldwide recession which is going on the decision is on you it is one of the really important decisions that you're supposed to take and make sure to discuss it with your parents and other stakeholders with your professors and people from your coaching institute what are they doing and try to come up with an informed decision it's a lot of money but then being in a good college it can change your perspective completely i mean me being in bits for the four years i think i got to meet a lot of new people i got to learn a lot of new things especially seeing from an entrepreneurial perspective and for content creation perspective i i thought that you know it's just getting a job maybe you do an mba after a few years and maybe you just climb the ladder but then i saw so many people doing so many different different things and i was really inspired by the people around there but at the same time your interest might be different maybe you're from a more conservative family maybe you're interested in me getting your college is closer to your home maybe you're okay with not going out to a different city and trying exploring something new and that is absolutely fine as long as you know what you want to do and especially when things like education loan is concerned there's a lot of stakeholders involved so make sure to think it through and make sure to understand the consequences because people don't really think about their consequences especially if they think okay i'm getting into a good college i'll just take an education loan i'll think about the what i'm going to pay later on especially given that you'll be paying it after you graduate that's still a long time away but i can tell you for sure your four years are going to go by like this i mean it feels like yesterday i just got into college and today i'm i'm basically done i don't have to go back to college especially if I, maybe for my graduation i have to go but then that that's it and it's being especially banks they they are trying to loot a lot of money because a lot of people these days are going to go through the education loan route so make sure to think it through and if you have any queries do ask it in the comments i'll be answering all of that and all the best to you if you want to connect to the top me you can definitely do that as well i'll see you guys make sure to subscribe to the channel because there's a lot of value based information coming out a lot of entertainment a lot of other things that i've learned throughout college which can definitely help you out do consider subscribing it's free and it'll definitely help you out a lot i'll see you guys all the best to you and be happy bye bye Innovation, celebration, it's the world's every nation.